ਇੱਕ ਪਾਸੇ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਕੋਲ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਟੂ ਹਿਸ ਗੋਰ ਸਿਕਸ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਡਰਾਈਵ ਸਟ੍ਰੈਂਥ ਫਰਮ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਗਿਵਨ देयर ਲਾਈਵਸ ਸੋ ਵੈਨ ਦ ਟਾਈਮ ਕਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਟਾਈਮ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਅ ਗੁਰ ਸਿਕਸ ਡਸਨ ਹੈਜ਼ੀਟੇਟ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਟਾਈਮ ਡਿਡ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਫੈਬਰੀ 19th 20th 21st 1921 <coughs> let's start with a couple of gorsiks in this band this group they would have a meeting in tarowal why because the gurdwara's management has slipped into the hands of udasi mans and what are they doing they're getting women to come on to the gurdwara premises and dancing six women went to city nankana sahib to matha take but the travel took them so long the night was about to fall so they decided to stay there by the morning all six were raped and what is nankana sahib that's her beginning that's where we found a beginning that's where mata tripta ji brought forth an avatar in kalyo they would build a boat so large that everybody can get on if they're willing mata tripta ji and then dolta dai how can you forget dolta dai the first person to see guru nanak dev ji in this world was a midwife and it was at that pavitra stan pavitra gurdwara sri nankana sahib where dolta dai sees radiance come it was at night right so they had candles but the candle's light was dimmed as guru nanak dev ji came into her hands and what happened she sees a smile all of her anxiety all of her worries everything's gone and the touch of guru nanak dev ji where dolt and i had been going around house to house saying that i have the most experience in delivering babies now she doesn't want to do this any longer because she's fulfilled Baba Kalyan Chand the father of Guru Nanak Dev ji said Dolta Choli ad main par deni ad mera hai boy Dolta says I don't need anything I've been already given everything that happened there that happened at Sri Nankana Sahib if it's 1984 at Harmandir Sahib or if it's 1921 and then kana sahib doesn't make it any less significant it's heartbreaking when you're hearing about this but why has, why hasn't anybody done anything when reports are coming out of these <coughs> happening well the british were ruling at that time and they had been paid by the mahants 50000 rupees if you rewind the clock it's a lot of money what what for protection why because of the akali gurdwara reform movement <coughs> this was a lal this was a wave started amongst gur six to get gurdwaras back <coughs> in the hands of gur six not these corrupt people they use their money to hire muslim patans to come on the gurdwara premises and do their dirty work to get it back from them so what were they doing what were they doing well there was mahant narayan narayan das who was in charge of the management at nankana sahib and what was he doing he was starting his own movement it was called the udasi <coughs> sadhu movement to take over all the gurdwaras and keep it under their control There is a battle between good and evil happening at that time. And this was a very critical time and all the happenings ha- that happened over the- these three days. You can't get a feel of it unless you go into the shoes of these Gorsiks. So let me start with one Shir. They're all heroes in my in my book. If I outline two, it's not to disregard the rest. There's a band the people don't know how to say was it 150 or was it up to a 200 no we don't know that 
But we know all the corpses that we recovered. We know all the skulls that we recovered. We know all the baskets of moss that were filled. And we know all the baskets of bones that were there. In Tarawal, a meeting happened that they're going to go in a shant meetang in a peaceful manner and occupy the Gurdwar in huge numbers. One of those Gur Sikhs is Pai Kher Singh. Let me rewind the clock a little bit more and tell you about what kind of individual this is. Kher means lion. <coughs> Singh means lion. So now this individual, one time he was traveling through the woods while he was working in the military for the English and he had an Englishman beside him talking away about his heroics and so forth. And when all of a sudden Moving towards them, they see a leopard. Garrison doesn't move. The Englishman climbs a tree. He has a camera with him too. <coughs> and he yells to Garrison down there, Quickly, quickly, you come up this tree too. And you know what Garrison said? He said, Why should a lion run from a leopard? Why should a lion run from a leopard? And then the Englishman says, here I have a pistol. Take this pistol and shoot that beast. Garrison says he doesn't have a pistol. But he looked at his claws. He looked at his paws. And he said that he does have sharp razor paws. So I'll take the spear. Poised and ready, he stood there. The Englishman was sweating bullets. And there is Gersing, ever so steady, holding a spear, because he knew as a Gursik, he's not going to attack first. If the leopard leaps, it leaps. Otherwise, there's no fight happening here. The leopard moves, snarls at him, and then makes its move. Gersing, holding the spear back, thrusts it into the mouth of the leopard and throws it down to the side. And the Englishman gets his picture. And that picture exists to this day too. Gary Singh would do his duty in the military, retire, come back with joyous news that he has a baby boy. <coughs> but 21 days later, his wife passes away. He has his mother and he has this newborn baby that they're struggling to give milk to. They used to wet milk into a cotton roux and a cotton ball and soak it into the baby's mouth. The, baby, the child starts to grow up. He's six years old. He's being told stories of Baba Fateh Singh Ji. He's being told stories about the heroics of the Sahib Zade. And now he sees that midday or even you could say late in the afternoon, his father is doing Ishnan. But he knows that Ajpitaji is doing Ishnan at this time, but normally he does it in the morning at Amrit Vela. Well, you, you know, a child has curiosity and no reason why they say why, why all the time. Because they want to feed and get that knowledge of reason why. He says, Dabi ma, Ajpitaji kyo nahi jandeya? Is vakat. Dadima says, Aadhi Pitai noi pochla. When Paikir <coughs> Singh came out, the son's name is Dirbaya Singh. Write that down in your minds as well. That's Kair Singh, Dirbaya Singh. Dirbaya Singh is a young six, or, six year old child. And he says, Pitaji Shinan kyo kar de on is vele. And he says, Eda Santanu pot. That Bakata agya that I have to go to Nankana side. He says, can I come with you? He's like, no, but there's going to be bullets. And there's going to be other stuff too. I don't want to discomfort you by telling you. He says, well, how can you discomfort me? You told me about the Saib Zadeh. I'm coming too. He kept saying that I'm coming with you. I'm coming with you. How come you fed me these stories so that the day comes 
that I can offer my body to Guru Gobind Singh Ji? Am I not a son of Guru Gobind Singh Ji? A six-year-old in a totally avaj is saying this to his Pita Ji. Pita Ji's heart melts. Heart melts. And Mata Vi Siddhikavali si. But she was very short. So now she gives her blessings to Darbar Singh, the six-year-old. And she goes to give her blessings with her hand to her son by <coughs> garrison. But she's very short and she can't reach. Darbar Singh comes running with the stool. Dadima, Taro. And she he brings the stool before his Dadima so she can get up and give him a sisa. And she says that, Tan Guru Nanak Tonu Kamiya Bakshe. That even if you have to lay down your body, that Guru Maharaji da staan azad kar deo. Asid ki maa. Hey diya maa maa panu chai diya. Let me turn to another hero. There's a lot of heroes here. <coughs> and the one that most has been echoed in Nankana Sahib Saka is Lakshman Singh. There was Kir Singh Jadpind Wale and Lakshman Singh Taro Wale. Lachman Singh. Let me tell you about his family. Him and his wife Indrakor couldn't have a child. But one day they were sitting in Dharbar and there's a, a young boy by the name of Mangal Singh They're doing such beautiful kirtan. Sometimes we get inspired. You hear beautiful um, kirtan or you hear something, you want to approach the person after just to give him gratitude. And it was uh, the same case with Pai Lachman Singh. Pai Lachman Singh, he went up to the child and he said to him, Bachya, your parents must be so proud. You did such beautiful kirtan today. You've been taught such beautiful kirtan <coughs> and the bachya looks down and trapa trapa go de, tears start falling to the ground and he Lachman Singh understands that he hurt his feelings somehow but he doesn't really understand why and Mangal Singh says that what can I do I have no parents nobody's proud of me I do kirtan because people give donations and then I can eat and Lachman Singh La, Lachman Singh told him and lifted his head up and he says from this day forth you're my child you're my child I have no child this is fate A Guru Nanak Dev Ji has united us you have no parents I have no child we're meant to be together by Mangal Singh would grow up go in the army and one time in the army Mangal Singh Somebody noticed in the army, underneath his uniform, he had a kirpan on. Back then, the English had banned it. They didn't want anybody to carry a kirpan on them. But they saw a kirpan and quickly, <coughs> the person ratted by Mangal Singh out. And he said to um, the lieutenant, the Englishman, he said that he's, he's wearing a weapon underneath, he's concealing a weapon. And at that time, the guy says that, comes to Mangal Singh, is that so? And Mangal Singh didn't lie, he says, I wear a kirpan. This is my ang. Eh, mera atut anga, main la nahi sakda. And then he says, then, well, you know, I'll ask the Granthi. They had a Granthi there because Gorsiks used to have divans as well. But Granthi, English, the Pitusi, meaning that all the Pakis, he was the pet of the English. And he says, hey, tick, tick, koi hai hai. there's no pabandi. That you, you, can, uh, you can take it off whenever you want. It's an ornament. Put it on. It's an ornament. And Pai Mangal Singh said, I'm not taking it off. I don't care if my job goes. And then at that time, they imprisoned him. He went from military into jail. Six months. And the Pant, once he came out, celebrated his release and gave him the title <coughs> Kirpan Bahadur. Mangal Singh Kirpan Bahadur. 
And the same situation is happening now and in 1921. Bhai Lachman Singh is bathing midday because the Jasa is going to head out at night. They want to get there by the 20th. Why do they want to get there by the 20th? Because they've heard, because they have spies there. There is a Gursik named Pai Avtar Singh, Pai Varyam Singh, Pai Dalip, uh, Dalip Singh. It then, I guess, see, they used to uh, work nearby in a cotton factory, Pai Uttam Singh's cotton factory. And then whatever the happenings were, they used to let the Pants know. And this Pai Lachman Singh is having a bath. And then what happened is, Mangal Singh's just been newly wed. He comes and brings his bride home. And the father-in-law and the mother-in-law are accompanying. And he starts wondering why father is bathing during the day. And he says, uh, when he comes out, he says that, Mangal Singh, But that's a Bakri story. That had happened earlier in Pai Lachman Singh had done an Ardaas there. And Maharajim Minnu bhi ek seva bakso. Purja, purja, kat mare, kabu na cha de chye. And these Gursikhs that day are, begun, are becoming the art of Gurbani. They're living and becoming the art, the translation of Gurbani. Pai Lachman Singh says to Mangal Singh that I'm going. Vya saadi akhirli mulakata. This is our final meeting. Why Mangal Singh turns to his father and he says, I've never left your side. I'm coming with you. And the mother-in-law and father-in-law of Mangal Singh say, what do you think you're doing? You're abandoning your newlywed wife? And the wife turns to her parents and hushes them. She says, no. I'm going with him. Mangal Singh, his wife, by Lachman Singh, before they leave their home, they do an ardas. They do an ardas before Guru Granth Sahib Ji Prakash Ji Maharaj Ji's troop in one of their kamre, in one of their rooms. And they do an ardas. Sache Pasha, eh vakta agya data, tusi kirpa karo. Eh jira papi betha. Inu es jagatwa pa inu lop kar diye. Make him disappear. And Sache Pasha, tusi avda updesh vaksho. And through your voice, I place it into our heart so we have the strength to carry on this movement. He does this Ardas. He goes to Maharaj, he's Tabya, and he reads out the Hukam Nama. The story starts with that Hukam Nama. Koyan melave mera pritam pyara Koyan melave this hukum nama comes. This hukum nama comes. And I'm not going to go over the whole hukum nama, <coughs> but I am going to share some lines with you. Je sukhadein satto jehe arabin. You give me peace. First of all, kuyan malave mera pritam piyara. This is a hook. This is a cry from the very bottom part of your heart. And that cry comes out in this manner, saying that I've tried to get to you, my Lord. I've tried to get to you, I Guruji. But I need help. I need help from your other Gursikhs. I need those successful Gursikhs to help me. That's Pyar. Koi An Malave. Marji had taken that Hukam Nama and literally read the mind of Pai Lachman Singh. Koyan malave, mera pritam pyara, that's preet. Haan tis pe, aap vichai. That's pratit, that's faith. How great is that faith? That faith is so strong that says that if that person unites me to my Lord, then I will sell myself to them. I will sell my body to them. Haan tis pe, aap vichai. I will sell everything that I have before that individual. Preet, te preet, together. Je sukhadei, ta tujhe aradi. If you give me peace, I'm going to call out your name, Guru, Guru. 
जे दुख पी तो जे ते आई एंड फॉर इफ यू गिव मी पेन दैट कॉल टू यू इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज आई एम स्टिल गोइंग टू से योर नेम जे भूख दे का इतही राजा इफ यू से टू मी लक्ष्मण सिंह आई वांट यू टू स्टार्ट फॉर दिस मेनी डेज मैं इन्हें दे की राज में नु मिल जाना दैट यू टोल्ड मी टू डू दैट If my priest and my Lord tells me that you are hungry, just to the bottom of which I have given you food. If the priest and the Lord tell me that you are hungry, just to the bottom of which I have given you food. If the priest and the Lord tell me that you are hungry, just to the bottom of which I have given you food. If the priest and the Lord tell me that you are hungry, just to the bottom of which I have given you food. ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪ ਹੀ ਸ਼ਕਤੀ ਅੱਜ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸੁਣਿਆ ਸੀ ਨਾ ਭਾਈ ਬਚਿੱਤਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਦਾ ਮਾਇ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਨੀ ਬਰਕਤ ਆ ਨਾ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਟੇਕ ਐਨ ਐਲੀਫੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਮੇਕ ਇਟ ਲੁੱਕ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਕੀੜਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਜੀ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਲਿਆ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਲਾਈਨ ਦੈਟ ਕਮਸ ਤਨ ਮਨ ਕਾਟ ਕਾਟ ਸਭ ਅਰਪੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਗਨੀ ਆਪ ਜਲਾਈ ਬਸ ਇਹ ਸੁਣਿਆ ਭਾਈ ਲਖਮਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੈਸ ਟੋਲੀ ਫਰਗਾਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਹਿਸ ਬਾਡੀ he read that marji to aagya aagi that she diponia that even if it comes to a point they cut you from limb dismember you chop you to bits and throw you into the fire then dukh vich sukh manai dukh de vich main sukh manaunga tan mere satguru ne darwaze khol dite satkhand nu khazaji these are little glimpses into the lives i can't go further otherwise these story is going to get longer then there's a gorsik named pai varyam singh let me tell you about pai pai varyam singh in up pa jana bia si e gorsik si didn't have a dollar in his pocket didn't have a rupee in his pocket and one day in the month of january he sees guru gobind singh ji in front of him and guru gobind singh ji says varyam singh ਜਾ ਜਥੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਹੋ ਜਾ ਇਹ ਜਥੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਪ੍ਰਕਰਮਾ ਤੋਂ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਆਪਦੇ ਖੂਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਕਰਮਾ ਦੈਟ ਵੇਅਰ ਦੇਸ ਬੀਨ ਪੋਇਜ਼ਨ ਸਪਰੈਡ ਆਲ ਓਵਰ ਦਾ ਪਲੇਸ ਇਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਵਾਸ਼ ਵਿਦ ਹਿਸ ਬਲੱਡ ਹੀ ਟੇਕਸ ਐਂਡ ਮਾਰਜੀ ਡਿਸਪੀਅਰਸ ਆਫਟਰ ਗਿਵਿੰਗ ਹਿਮ ਦਿਸ ਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਵਰ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਥਿੰਕ ਦਿਸ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਡਾਲਰ ਇਨ ਹਿਸ ਪਾਕਟ ਹੀ ਡਸ ਨੋ ਵੇਅਰ ਦੀਸ ਜਥੇ ਆਰ ਹੀ ਡਸ ਨੋ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਵਾਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਔਨ ਹੀ ਜਸਟ ਥਿੰਕਸ There is a Hawalda Hem Singh ek Singh he knows him I'll go to him and ask him cuz he knows a lot about what's going on in the panth so he goes to him and that person knows about another famous name write it down in your mind Kartar Singh Chabbar Kartar Singh Chabbar who's instrumental in this whole organization he says that instead of going to Amritsar go to this place where Kartar Singh Chabbar is and here's a rupee ek rupee na train char sakde si tusi he gave him the money too dekho guru gobind singh ji kis tarah parband karaunde aapde ko sikhan le he comes and he sees kartar singh chabbar and there's a lot of people but kartar singh chabbar recognizes each one of their faces cuz this is a meeting and it's a secret meeting if word gets to the mahant then all is lost people are going to be preparing um uh, hatchets spears and so forth which did happen though but they were trying to keep us secluded and he comes up and he says to kartar singh chabbar varyam singh the one that's had darshan of guru gobind singh ji and he says to him am menu seva baksho i want to go with this jatha he's looking at him is i don't recognize him he says who sent you here sare nu keh de chup reho don't tell him what's going on and then he says hawaldar hem singh ne menu bhejya then he writes a note out gives it to a gorsik goes and gets that person to visit him saying to fill his agwai and saying yes this man is legit and they realize that guru gobind singh ji sending more army along with us to Bole carry out this task so neha one side a hukum nama is coming tan man kaat kaat sab arpi one side gorsiks are having visions of guru gobind singh ji and joining this jatha this is happening 
They convinced themselves it's happening. But now, <coughs> what's happening at Nankana Sahib? The story that drew this to a pinnacle, a peak, is a story that's heartbreaking. There's a Sindhi judge, a Sindhi judge, meaning that he's not a Sikh, but he's a Shirdalu of the Guruka, he's devoted to the Guruka. I'm sure a lot of people have gone to Nankana Sahib. You see a lot of Sindhi people there. There used to be a province back in the day, but Rahavacha is Sindh on the Sikh province. And also they look and they have Sharda towards Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And he said, Odi Sharda Ji, he said that my whole life has gone by successfully as a judge. And I'm retiring, I'm taking my family. And we're going to do Nak Mastak at Guru Nanak Dev Ji's Astan, meaning Uthe Jaakim Matha Dev Ji. It was quite a long travel. He went with his wife and his 13 year old daughter. They got there, Khalsa Ji. They Matha Dev And again, night came. And he says to the Prabandak Sir, there's no camera there. De and they said, okay, let's go. Camera there, I don't know. They take him to a room. There's no light on. They're like, can you at least um, give us a candle or something in the room? This pitch dark. We can't see anything. And he says that, here, your girl's here. Bring her with me. I'll, I'll take her with me and I'll give her um, the light. Well, just in that, there's something foul that was going to happen. She gets molested. An hour or two passed by. Parents are worried. And she comes crying back. Father's enraged. What are they doing at Guru Nanak Dev Ji's Tarmastan? Why are they doing this? He goes to the Mahant and Naranu. Now Naranu's paying these people. And he doesn't care what kind of pleasures they get. So, Mahant and Naranu says, Khabardar, if the word gets out about this event. Just for that, it is good to come to me and complain about my people just for that you leave your daughter here and you too are going to be escorted to the railway station when the sun comes up that's when your daughter will be returned to you they were taken they were threatened that they would be killed and they were standing at the railway station mother and father a whole night this Daughter is being raped at the astan of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Whole night. Khalsa Ji, the morning, a bruised and raped woman, 13 year old, is returned to her parents. And they're told that never come back to this place. They board the railway station. Later on, the father, the Sindhi judge, attends a Sikh conference and he says, you call this a Sikh conference? I don't see any Sikhs here. I don't see any Sikh here. Those were Sikhs when Ahmed Shah Badali used to come to these lands and snatch men and women, men as slaves and women as slaves and be taking it back to his land. And Gorsiks would rise up. They would probably have not eaten for days, but they did not care. They would come out of the bushes, out of nowhere, and ransack the caravan of Ahmed Shah Durrani, Ahmed Shah Abdali, and return those women home, and as well as the men too. <coughs> but you guys aren't sick. I don't see any sick here. And their hearts are down. And they said that, no, that's it. That's it. Other reports have come out by Pai Bariyam Singh. Pai Bariyam Singh, the one had the darshan of Guru Gobind Singh, had been given the special <coughs> duty of going and spying and then actually putting on a lavas of sadhu mahant and trying to get in with that group. After a week, they caught on and they knew something was funny with this guy. So they told him, no, we don't want you part of our group. And then he would go to Sardar Uttam Singh, who had a cotton factory there. He'd work there and spy on what the, all the happenings. And I'm telling you, 
If I went through a couple more stories, your heart would be in the ground right now. So now you have a picture of what Mahdi has said in Sri Dasam Grand. Kukrit Karam Je Jagme Karihi Naam Asur Tin Kosab Tarihi. Those are demons. Don't look for demons with horns popping out. The people's actions define if they're demons. Mahdi has said in Sri Bachitranath, Sri Dasam Grand. These are demons. Those were demons at that time. We saw demons in 1947 during the partition. We saw demons coming into Siddhi Armandir Sahib. You see a human flesh, but behind it, there are demons. Kalsaji, now the time has come. The Hukam Nama by Lachman Singh has taken. There's three other Jathas that are going, and I have to mention them because they're all instrumental Gursiks. Kartar Singh Chabbar has a group. There's Bhuta Singh Lal Puriwale. He has a group. And then there's Pai Teja Singh Sumandri. Jinu Sumandri Hal Kende Na Amritsar. If you go there, it's named after him. Pai Teja Singh Sumandri. Jinu Abshi Deepali Singh in the English jails later on. But it's Bakatani. So there's four groups. And they are going to rendezvous at a place called. Chandrakot Tichab, or it's called Chandrakot, and why it's called that is because it's a canal bridge, canal bridge, and it's very open there. And then the whole group, they're expecting numbers to be around 2,000 people to come into that group, and then they're all going to flood the Parikarma of city Nanakana Sahib, and then with this, they'll see that the numbers are small of the Patans, and they'll back off. That was the plan. But the Mahant had another plan. He said, as they will come, he's hiring and recruiting other people because he's getting word that there's the Kali movement coming towards him. And he's hiring more Patans. And he's already made a Dhyont. Uh, he's already made a strategy. And listen to that strategy. He was going to decapitate all of their heads and then burn them in the body, uh, burn the bodies, and then tell the English people that these people came and killed my men and these are their lasa and then they've run off and then in return he was going to point fingers at these Jathedai who he knew very well of and then he was going to um, accuse them and then they would be trapped in jails and there you go the Udasi monks are still ruling over the Gurdwari <coughs> that was the plan but now the Jathes are collecting and there's a place called Nazampur Deva Singh Valley. There's a Gurdwara side there. And when Pai Lachman Singh's group has all assembled and they're all waiting for him there, all of them have come. And then they all see Pai Lachman Singh. And there's other great courses, Pai Chal Singh, Pai Inder Singh. They're all standing there. And they wait for Pai Lachman Singh to come into the Darbar. And they say, Pai Lachman Singh, <coughs> if we're going to go as a Shidi Jatha to Nankana Sahib, to see Ardaas Karo. By Lachman Singh Kenda, I've done my own Ardaas, but for the whole group of you, I will do Ardaas. He folds his hands and he says, Sache Pasha, to see Kirpa Karo. Samu Sangati Akatrta, Apa Jana, Sache Pasha, Tode Astande Azadi Le, to see Kirpa Karo Data. <coughs> he says this is Das. By in this thing goes to take the Hukum Nama. And the Hukum Nama comes again. <laughs> Sarvan Kita, more laggy on Pai Lachman Singh's heart. 
ਐਨੀ ਸੇ ਸੰਗਤੋ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆਇਆ ਸੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਤਨ ਮਨ ਕਾਠ ਕਾਠ ਸਭ ਆਰਪੀ ਚਲੋ ਭਾਈਓ ਚਲੋ ਭੈਣੋ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਚੱਲੀਏ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਜਸ ਗੋਣਿਆ ਸਾਖੀਆਂ ਸਾਖੀਆਂ ਦੱਸਾਂਗੇ ਰਾਹ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਛੋਟਾ ਦਰਬਾਰਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਮੰਗਲ ਸਿੰਘ ਕਿਰਪਾਨ ਬਾਦ ਹਿਸ ਨਿਊਲੀ ਵਰਡ ਵਾਈਫ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਆਲ ਹੈਡ ਇਟ ਟੂਵਰਡ ਨਨਕਾਨਾ ਸਾ ਬਟ ਦੇ ਥਿੰਕ the other three jathes are coming shiromani parabandhak committee that had just come into formation and had been established they have sent the leap singh another brave gorsik the leap singh has come he has that chitti and that chitti is still with our pants today and that chitti is sent saying that st- stopping everybody that mahant narayanu knows about your coming stop he knows about your coming kartar singh chabber says no we're going we've already made a plan and everybody knows <coughs> about this we have rendezvous point everything set by teja singh samundri says that are you bigger than the pants by kartar singh and then he had no jawab he had no response to that he said then fine you can stop me you've stopped yourself and puta singh standing here as well but who's going to start up by lachman singh the leap singh stands up and he says just as i have given you this paper i'm going to give it to him too on the 19th of february during the pitch dark night he's riding out on his horse he's looking for pai lachman singh <coughs> he comes to the rendezvous point and he sees no jatha where's the jatha the jatha still coming but he thinks the jatha might have gone on so he's worried that they've already passed so he goes towards nankana side still sees no sign of them now the 19th mahant nanu has been ready the whole day to butcher all the gorsiks and he says that well they're not coming it looks like so i have uh uh udasi mahant Arya Samaj conference he had a, some sort of a conference where they were going to move the, collectively make their movement so he's about he said that if they're not coming then I'm going to go on the train he's going on the train and he's notified by a muslimani bibi who comes running he's on the train the train's moving and he said that kale dastan wale aunde ha kyunki jadon morcha hunde si kale dastan paunde hunde si he used to put on black <coughs> dastar and he said that the black dastar people are coming the black dastar people are coming the train is moving he jumps off and now he's ready for them on the 20th by dilip singh can't find them so he goes to varyam singh he knows varyam singh so he gives him the letter and he says if you come across them please give him this letter all these gorsiks are singing shabs doing simran along the way and they have come within a few minutes of sitting in kana sahib and this is around 4 o'clock in the morning 4 o'clock on the 20th what happened pai bariyam singh reaches him he gives the note to pai lachman singh lachman singh reads it out to the band of gorsik and he says that the pant wants us to stop ਤੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਖਤਰਾ ਗਾ ਜਾਣੋ ਭਾਈ ਤਾਲ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਤਨ ਮਨ ਕਾਟ ਕਾਟ ਸਭ ਅਰਪੀ ਵਿਚ ਅਗਨੀ ਆਪ ਜਲਾਈ ਵਿਚ ਅਗਨੀ ਆਪ ਜਲਾਈ ਹੀ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਸਿੰਗਿੰਗ ਦਿਸ ਆਊਟ ਹੀ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਸਿੰਗਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਆਊਟ ਅਮੰਗਸ ਦ ਜਥਾ ਐਂਡ ਭਾਈ ਲਛਮਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਇਨ ਦ ਲੈਟਰ ਡਰਾਉਨਸ ਆਊਟ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਸੇਸ ਮਾਈ ਦਿਸ ਹੁਕਮ ਨਾਮ ਓਵਰਰਾਈਡ ਦਿਸ Kartar Singh Chabber didn't have anything like this to say to them. But Lachman Singh did. It was their jatha that had gone pravangi from Pramatma to get Shidi. Shidi isn't just, this happens. This is a dot. This is a gift from Pramatma. He opens up doors and he gives them this opportunity that Aajo Mere Bachyo, they're coming to my ਮਾਇਸਤਾਨ ਮੈਂ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਚਰਨ ਨਿਵਾਸ ਬਖਸ਼ਦਾ 
He says this out in Taosing. See some people standing by, seeing this Jatha in the morning going to Nanakana Sahib. And he sees that he has some money rattling around in his pocket. And he says, Alo, there's some women there standing as onlookers watching on, he gives them money. And he says to them, that this is all I have, but Jere Gorsik, that will come for our funeral. That's Tan Man Tan. Remember, Tan Man Kaat Kaat Sab Arpi. Tan Ogya, your body. Man Ogya, mind, you've given yourself. But Ekki Rendasi Tan. And whatever Pai Tal Singh had in his pockets, One Deke Jakara Shadeya Bole Soneha. They start moving forward by 5 o'clock. They've entered into the premise of Nanakana Sahib. So far, you see nobody. So far, you see nobody. And by Lachman Singh does Prakashti Seva. Now, if you see Nanakana Sahib, you see a Nivasistan, which is pretty big. But the actual Gurukar is pretty small. It's like a, almost like a square in the midst of a huge Prakarma. So there's a lot of empty space that's uncovered where <coughs> a group of Gorsik that were numbering from at least maybe 150 to 200 have come in and they've sat down, the ones that have sat down under in the Gurdwara and the others are sitting down outside of the Gurdwara. Bhai Lachman Singh goes, does Prakash and takes a Hukam Nama. Now this Hukam Nama is unknown. To us, what well, hukum nama came, but the hukum nama that was done after, I will tell you about. The Pai Lachman Singh starts doing Jor Sahib, and they're Jakara Shadde, and they're doing Simran, sitting in the Sangat, and Mahant heard the Jakara. He sends all of his goons in, he gets them to stand up or go on top of the Navasistan, on the roofs of the Navasistan, and they had already prepared. On the other side of the Gurdwara that was closed <coughs> off, they had holes. They had pictures of these. In a book called Shahidi Jeevan, they have pictures of all of this. They have holes in there that a person could use one eye and fit a gun through and start shooting. And they started shooting. God, God, karke goliya pan lagi on the Sangat. They start getting hit by bullets. First, it's the Sangat that are sitting outside. They continue doing Simran because they don't know what to do. They don't know what We're going as a Shihidi Jata and with our blood, this place is going to become Azad. That's Pratit. That is faith. Somebody might say that, well, they should have fought back. But oh, Sabar Santok Guru Arjan Dev Ji and Guru Teg Bahadur Sahib Ji has taught us. They sat there. They took bullets. And then these demons moved in. They would drag and these blood streaks would be like almost like a prakarma around the Gurdwara Stan. They would take them by the hair, drag the Gorsik, and then soak them in kerosene and then cut their heads off, cut their hands off, cut their legs off and be throwing it. Kakars would be lying on one side. Kashare, kung, uh, Kange, Kade, everything's was scattered all over the place and they have three Stans. One is a brick kiln. You know, Patikan there, where they bake bricks. They're throwing them inside of there. And then some are being thrown into huge piles of wood that they had already pre collected. They're being thrown in there. Some are still alive and crying out, Wahe Guru! Wahe Guru! And they are being thrown into the fire. And Kalsaji, this went on. First it was 25 that it was collected like this. And then the Mahant came on a horse. He covered his face with a parna. And he moves forward. He said that, <coughs> I see those people, but I want the leader. Lachman Singh, shoot at him. They start shooting at by Lachman Singh. He's sitting on Tabia. The first goal he goes into Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji. That... Sarup is called Shahiti B. Tan Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. It's still in the pant, and you can see the bullet going. 
just as in 1984 your Guru Sahib said, my Gore Sikhs are taking bullets, then I will take a bullet as well. Well, in 1921, Guru Sahib took that bullet. And Lachman Singh sprawled over Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Oi Murkha! It's because of Guru Granth Sahib Ji that you've been getting money in this Guru Kar, that you've been feeding yourself. You are Kirtkan! And then bullets start flying into the body of Pai Lachman Singh. That Sarup doesn't just have a bullet that has been ripped through the angs of Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. That also has the blood of Pai Lachman Singh. Pai Lachman Singh was bleeding on top of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. And bas oi avaj shad. Only you can try to think what is going through Pai Lachman Singh at that time. And that hukum nama is <coughs> echoing in my head. Is that tan man kaat kaat sab arpi vich agni aap jala. They eventually would grab Pai Lachman Singh. They would bring him outside. But instead of taking him to the pyres, there's a jund, there's a tree there. They would hang him upside down and light him on fire. But he did not cry. He did not cry. He was beyond that body now. He said, Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru. But Oye Vaja. Mahant is not getting any satisfaction. There's one Gorsik that had come and <laughs> asked him for water. They beheaded him on the spot. And Mahant, another uh, Udasi Mahant that used to work with Narandas comes and remember I told you the demons he goes down as blood is coming out of his head coming from his neck out he goes down takes a takes a group takes a book of that blood and drinks it and he says these would be his words these are demons this went on this went on until 12 o'clock Kair Singh has dropped. Dal Singh has dropped. By Inder Singh. No, there's one alive. And who was it that just had decided that six-year-old Darbara Singh, let's not leave <coughs> there and maybe he can get out of this alive. So there's a Almai, there, a cabinet within the wall of the Gurdwara. They took Darbara Singh, a six-year-old, in the, against his will though, against his will, into the Almai and locked it. And when all of this had happened, all the bodies had been dragged out and they were cleaning the prakarma with the blood. Remember, they're intoxicated and there's photos of alcohol bottles all over the prakarma. They have photos of this as well too. Because when the pant <laughs> got into the Darbar Sahib, they had a photographer taking photos of all of this. There was a chupacha. A chupacha is a place if you guys have gone to India, when you take off your feet, you have a bit of a sink that's been built into the ground and you wash your feet as you enter into the main sanctuary or the Durbar. And that Chibacha is a square Chibacha about 14 inches deep. They used to fill it in water and people used to soak their legs and clean off the dust before they went into Maharaji's Durbar. They have a photo of that all full of blood. All the Sangat on all the blood that was coming out, it was full in that Chibacha. Khalsa Ji Darbara sings in that Almai <coughs> and he calls out Pita Ji, I don't want to go back to my house I also have a little bit of a but Darbara Singh doesn't know his father's already been cut into pieces yeah. the Pathans hear this first they think it's a ghost so they go running out, they're intoxicated and then another one intoxicated that thinks of himself as brave comes into the Darbara side and he says that, get up, put maunu tikarda. He opens the almari up and he sees the child crying out, Menu of the Pitaji Kole Lajo. They take that boy. One grabs him from the legs, one grabs him from the head, another comes with a karpan and cuts him in half yeah. and then throws him into the fire. Shiti Pagi, there's mas to kre edder, kakar edder, bones sitting in the fire, the fire is dimming down and now news has gone to that con, 
because at the cotton factory by Uttam Singh, this Varyam Singh, remember the one that Darshan of Guru Gobind Singh Ji, and by Dilip Singh, the one that had taken a piece of paper, stopped three jathe, but couldn't stop this jatha. <coughs> Varyam Singh saw that they weren't stopping, so he went to Dilip Singh to go tell him, who was at the cotton factory, and then they heard bullets. And he said, oh my God, it's starting, it is starting. So they both ran there. And as they came into the Prakarma, and they see all this butchery is going on, he says, Dilip Singh, Dilip Singh yells at the Mahant, there's not even going to be a nark left for you. You're going to be in nark forever. He says to him, and Mahant takes out a pistol, shoots Dilip Singh. The leap Singh falls as he stumbles, another comes and cuts his head off. They're decapitating all of them. Remember, because of the plan of the Mahant, Varyam Singh comes and he sees all of this happening. Oh, the Pichuakish Mare acts, he falls to the ground <coughs> and then he gets decapitated and they as well join their brothers in the fire. Kalsaji, this all happened. Uttam Singh has tele- sent a telegram to the rest of the punts. Kartar Singh Chabra says, I'm not stopping. Shiromani Prabhandakiri committee sending more notices that don't go, there's going to be a bigger massacre. But Kartar Singh Chabra says, Chukar az hama hilte dar guzash. Burdan shamshir das is it's rightful. It's a halal burdan bar shamshir das. It's righteous to take up the sword when you've exhausted all means of peace he takes up swords they have axes on their side and a group assembles as they, sh- as they would have at Chandrakot and it's 2,200 gorses and they've come the next morning after the massacre and they're at the gates but the English have arrived before them the English have about 200 Sapai. And what do they see? Oh, they look at this and they're like, what just happened? And they realize, first the Mahan saw that he could have gotten away with this. But then they realize, oh, no, they kade nahi lai, And they don't even wear kade. And realize that they just massacred <coughs> horses. This is not good. Let's close this whole place off. Arrest these guys. Put them in jail for now. And then they'll go through court trial later on. And Mr. Curry and Mr. King, the Deputy Commissioner, have assembled around the Gurdwara and closed the whole premises off. Meanwhile, Kirtar Singh Chabar has come with 2,200, including the mothers of the ones that are, were in there. <coughs> and they're standing at the gate. He's on top of his horse. And he says, Mr. Curry, step aside. This belongs, this place belongs to the Gurdwara. Just as Jerusalem is prestigious to you, so lies our heart beyond this gate. Don't let us, don't stop us now. Mr. Curry says that, okay, what do you guys really want from us? He says, we want to get in and we want the key. Remember, Akali Gurdwara reform movement was to take control of the Gurdwara. They want the keys. Mr. Curry says, well, okay, by tomorrow, wait here. By tomorrow, um, we'll give you the keys. Ochilaxina, by that time, they'll clean up everything. And the Gorsiks, remember, the English were all in it. They knew where the Gorsiks got their power from. <coughs> they go to these Gordwara stands and they come back as rejuvenated lions. But what's in these places, they don't know. They don't understand. So, what do they do? They try to support people that break the punt. They try to call, uh, break people and break their sharda towards Guru Granth Sahib Ji or Sidi Dasam Granth. They did this all during that time. The English used their cleverness trying to break up the Gorsiks. Why? Because Mara and Singh had just been the emperor. These guys could rise up and take back this land of Punjab which was theirs. They had broken, broken the treaty and taken over the land after that massacre, massacre that happened in Lahore to the whole family of Maharaj Ranjit Singh where each son was getting killed. But that's a lot of another story. 
Kasadi. He says this to Mr. Curry. He says, no, we're not going to wait another minute. You hand us the key now. Otherwise, we are taking up our swords and coming in there. You stand in our way, you will be attacked. You've been warned. And then Mr. Curry, talking to Mr. King, they come up with the keys, hand it to Kirtar Singh Chabbar and Kasaji. The heartbreaking next picture comes now. They all come in. They all come in. As they make their way in, they see that frightening sight of Lhasa everywhere. They go first to Guru Granth Sahib Ji. They matate. And they take a hukum nama. And this time it's Rag Sui Pagat Pri Ji. Tap tap lohe lohe. Haath maroro. And then there's a pangti that comes in there. Kali koil tu kitukun kali. Now those bodies are burnt. It's as if those Gursiks are asking them that why are you so black? Why are you so charred? Asking the nightingale that why are you so black? But yet you keep singing God's praises. Why you keep chirping during the night? Kali koil tu kitukun kali. Fir gaha onda? Apne sahib ke bir ho jali. I have burnt myself. My color is black because of the longing and the pain that I have to unite myself to God. It's because of that love. It's because of that love. Oh, hukum nama aya. They start doing the seva of collecting all the bodies. Nobody hesitated. They collected bones when they saw bones. They collected flesh. Three huge baskets that would come up to my waist that were enough to carry for them, with a group of them, there was a three huge baskets full of flesh. There was ten baskets, around ten baskets of bones, 126 <coughs> skulls, four bodies that were charred, but yet you could make it out. And now, through them, the mothers are looking for their sons. And that Buddhari Mai of Kirsing comes looking for Kirsing or Darbarasin. She sees one leg cut from the knee. And uh, uh, this is from the knee bottom going down. She picks up that leg and looks at it and sees the scar that he had earned in the army. And she says, Sunove loko, adekho mera pota. And she deepa agya. Hey Guru Maharaj ji, the gold de vich chale agya. Inna maan kita. Sare ne jikare shade. And she took that leg and placed it into the funeral pyre that they had assembled where thousands of Gorsiks now have accompanied and they have all starting uh, to do the final funeral rites according to Gurmat Mariyada. Pasaji, that woman placed it into the fire. And Ote, Prof Professor Jod Singh, who do the Ardas, who would do the Ardas for the Shaheed, he would say, you all see this, don't you? You see these bodies lying here, don't you? These bodies are what we sing in their da. People didn't believe. And people question, oh, kime khopriya na a sagdeya? Like, kime purja purja kach sagdeya? A dekho loko. This is a translation of our da that's lying here. Don't question. Our Ardaas, don't question Guru Maharaj. <coughs> to see the Oja Pratit Siddhik Rakho. Pratit tested is Siddhik. Faith tested is called Siddhik. And they have it. And don't ever question what we've been given. Some people have said that, oh, how these are stories, folklore, myths of the past. It hasn't been that long. This keeps happening. Remember, history does not say goodbye. It says, see you later. Ardaas kiti honne that Guru Maharaj ji aap de pavitre saan aap de charnan de vich nivas is samu shidhan de jathanu bakshyo sakir paasya ae kya hai ke 
by Hira Singh Radhi sang out a Shabd and then there's one Radhi to this day that was in that Jatha Maaf Karna, there's one Radhi, his name is Pai Jawala Singh I want you guys to listen to this okay, there's um, Pai Kultar Singh a show of hands, who's heard of Pai Kultar Singh? Radhi <coughs> very few, <coughs> Pai Kultar Singh Radhi. his Pitaji, has anybody heard of Pai oh, Avtar Singh Pai Ragi? Pai Avtar Singh Ragi, yes? yes. only a few Khalsa Ji, this is a family of Ragis dating back to Guru Amar Das Ji. Maaf karna, Guru Amar Das Ji to Sikhi mili si. But the time when Sutta and Balwand wouldn't do Kirtan, and Guru Arjan Dev Ji gave Kirtan to the Sangat, one of those members was in this family. And they had been serving the Pant doing Kirtan. And in 1921, Pai Jawala Singh did Kirtan. Khun ke sohe le. Gaviye Nanak Rutta Kungu Pai Vilalo Sang out this Shabd Jaise me aave khasam ki baani Taisada kari gyan Vilalo Paap ki janj le kablo taaya Jori mange daan Vilalo E Shabd uchayan ki taasi I won't go into the translation Sama bhot ho gaya but I will say this this family to this day have kept at least 300, more than 300, I think maybe 300 to 500 compositions that they've been reading in the same way from Guruji's time. By Avtar Singh Radhi in YouTube, right card to Rekyo, or do this at least. By Kultar Singh Nankana Sahib into YouTube, he'll do uh, two shabds. One, the shabd that he did is the one that I just read uh, of Guru Nanak Dev Ji when Babur would attack Amnabad and that he does towards the end of the recording and he does in the same tune that his grandfather read in 1921. In the same rag, the same uh, composition in the way he would read it, he read it because his Tabal Ji learned from his grandfather. And they had taught him, and he did it in that same manner. As well, in the midst of the Kirtan, he tells the whole Sakka Nankana Sahib. I don't do justice, Khalsa Ji. I'm not doing any justice telling you today. It's better if you hear from people or read from actual eyewitnesses of how this happened. There's a huge book telling you the lives of as many Shahids as they possibly could. And... Pai Vriyam Singh, uh, maaf karna, Pai Jawala Singh had done Kirtan and Othe <coughs> Pai Unna ne Samafti ki ti and O Joe Ardaspur to Jod Singh ne ki ti I've shared with you. Pul Chuk, maaf karna, I've made enormous mistakes. I, every time I've tell, told this story, I know I don't capture what could have happened. Imagine just this fire right now. Those are limbs lying there and their skulls lying there and those are the Gurusiks and you're walking in. How can you even try to visualize this? You can't, there's photos, they're black and white. You can't even visualize how red that blood must have looked in that Chubacha. But Khalsa Ji, it's not necessary. You can't even say it. Because we need to say it again, Lachman Singh wants it. We need Chal Singh in this month as well too. We need these mothers to bring forth these Gorsiks as well as the women that were accompanying like Bibi Indrakor to that Asan as well too. We need them. We have the flood of Maya in these western worlds. But Fairby Marji says, in the same manner as a duck does as it swims through water and the waxy substance on the duck lets the water roll off. You can remain in this world. You can remain in this western world and it does not affect you even when Maya sends its flood. Pulchuk Chima Karni, Pulchuk Maaf Karna, Papa Panjimit, Asimran Kariye and O Gursik Si Danu Samarpan Kariye. Because it's your faith. I have a belief. I have a certain faith that tells me, Gursiks have told me that, um, enlightened Gursiks have told me, that Singha, when you do it for us, I know right away 
that you have done in Ardas for me, even if I'm sitting across the country. And I have a belief, if you guys put those shaheeds in your heart right now and do Simran, not for yourself, <coughs> but for them, they will receive it. They will receive it. Not, not, I'm not saying that they need it. They will receive it. And they, that you today have heard their story. So, four brothers <laughs> will say back, first of all, say back, then you will say back, then you will say Guru, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, Oh, my God. 
Or he knows about this because he's visited with the spiritual body. But he said this at least three times in three different parts in Katha. And I think it's too fit here. Guru Nanak Dev, the honest travels, he went to Japan. If you believe it or not, Maharaj went to Japan. I believe Maharaj went all over the world. We're yet to discover it, but Maharaj went to Japan. And he came to a stand where the Japanese people is a fishing coast. And Pai Mirdana goes and turns to Guru Nanak Dev Ji and he says, Sache Pasha, Bada Ajeev Ji is a stand. Ithe ka te aayin apna, Ithe koi jeev dukhi ta lag de ni. And nobody looks like they're really in pain. Maharaj Ji says, Minu, I can hear the cry. I can hear the cry. And just to, right after Guru Maharaj Ji says that, a fisherman who just had brought these fish, they're still alive in the net, he throws them onto the coast. And the fishes are jumping up and down, up and down, and up and down. And Maharaj Ji says to the fisherman, Evi ji vainanishadva. They haven't done anything to you. I know that Rosi is the one who is Rosi Guru Maharaj Ji who is the one 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 to the Japanese fishermen and they ignored Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji sang out a shabd <coughs> I'll share this shabd tomorrow in my presentation with you he sang out a shabd and then at that time Maharaj Ji was looking at the fish and Ma'am Manda, the Guru Maharaj Shabd Gondasi, even Panchi or any beast that was listening, Osarinu, it would have given them awakening. And they'd realize where they've been trapped and what Juni they're trapped. <coughs> and Maharaj gave them a choice. They're right at the edge of the, the coast there. The water's right there, and Guru Maharaj is right there. The net dissolved. The net dissolved. And these fish are flopping, coming towards Guru Nanak Dev Ji. They didn't choose the world ocean. They chose Guru Maharaj Ji's challenge. Khalsa Ji, fish! I'm not comparing. If you say to me, now why are you drawing an analogy of the sheaths with those fish? But for Gavi to see Sanona, when those fish went and touched Guru Maharaj Ji's challenge, as each one of them would touch them, they would fall dead. They would pass away. And then, from their body, an angel would escape and go to the heaven. Maharaj Jane, what is that Sakti after? <coughs> but this was told, O Pariyam Banke, Uddan Lag Jane. As each fish would come, they would come to Guru Maharaj's giant and they would all feed it. And they even denoted a spot for Guru Nanak Dev Ji in Japan and Baba Gurbachan Singh mentions that spot's name but at the same time I tell you there's an ocean those seeds could have gone back as an analogy they could have gone back to their lives and said that forget this they could have said this but nay they saw Maharaj's feet and they went. But in Naisi Jagana, they knew that the hardship was that, leaving their bodies. The hardship was flopping and trying to make sure they land on Guru Maharaj's feet. For that small distance, we shun Guru Maharaj. For that <coughs> little bit of hardship, we say to Guru Maharaj, ah, it's easier to do this. Right? Aluni Chitani Pandya, meaning that it's saltless. First going towards the Bara Nanda Bara Jano and you point them. Jirakarni Vale Mahapur say, Oh, that's there, and they'll tell you what Anandi is. 
ਚਲੋ ਇੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਸਮਾਪਤੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਬੋਲੇ ਸੁਨਹਾ ਨਾਲ ਜੀ ਅਕਾਲ